Hello students, we are doing chapter number 15 circle and today we will discuss exercise 15.2. This exercise is based on the chord property and arc property of a circle. So we have two theorems here. First theorem in equal circle or in same circle equal chords cut off equal arc. It means if these two chords are equal AB and PQ is equal then we can say arc AB will be equal to arc PQ. Second theorem is the reverse of this theorem or we can say if these two arcs are equal for a circle or for equal circle then these two chords A to B and P to Q also will be equal. So with the help of these two theorems we will solve this exercise. So question number 1 we have if arc A, P, B and C, Q, D means this one A, P, Q and C, Q, D are congruent. Congruent means equal. Then we have to find out the ratio of A, B and C, D. So first of all it is given arc A, P, B this is P is equal to arc C, Q, D. If these two arcs are equal then by above theorem we can write chord A, B will be equal to chord C D. If these two chords are equal then we can find out their ratio. Therefore A B by C D we can write because A B and C D are equal so we can replace C D also with A B and we will get here 1 by 1. So their ratio will be 1 is to 1. Next we have question number 2. A and B are points on a circle with center O. C is a point on the circle such that OC bisect angle AOB. Prove that OC bisect the arc AB. So figure is given like this. A and B we have two points on the circle and this O to C will bisect this angle. So now we will start solution because OC bisect angle AOB so we can write angle AOC is equal to angle BOC these two angles are equal now because these two angles are equal means their chord also will be equal we can write AC is equal to BC and we know if two chords are equal then arc A to C and B to C also will be equal equal chords will cut equal arc. So therefore we can say arc AC is equal to arc BC and these two arc are equal it means C is the midpoint for this one. OC bisect this arc also therefore OC bisects the arc AB. Next we have question number 3. Prove that the angle subtended at the center of a circle is bisected by the radius passing through the midpoint of the arc. It means this arc is there AC and we have to take the midpoint of this arc and join to the center. And we have to prove this angle and this angle is equal. This is the reverse of last question. Now we will start because B is midpoint. Of arc ABC. This one big arc and B is the midpoint. So we can write therefore arc AB is equal to arc BC. These two arc will be equal. If these two arc are equal then their chords also will be equal. So we can say chord AB is equal to chord BC and because these two chords are equal then they will subtend equal angle here. So we can write therefore angle AOB is equal to angle BOC. These two angles are equal it means this OB is bisecting this angle. Therefore radius OB is bisecting 
angle AOC. This only we have to prove. Next we have question number 4. In the adjoining figure, two chords AB and CD of a circle intersect at P. If AB and CD are equal, prove that arc AD equal to arc CB. So figure is given like this. These two chords are there AB and CD. Both will intersect at P. We have to prove this arc and this arc is equal. So we will start with the given thing because AB is equal to CD. These two chords are equal. So we can write arc ADB this arc ADB is equal to arc CBT this arc and this arc will be equal. Now from the both side this arc DB this is common in both the arc we can subtract this one arc ADB minus arc db right side also same thing we will subtract arc cbd minus arc db we can mention this one in bracket subtracting arc db from both side So from here, from this big arc, if you subtract this small arc, then remaining will be AD. So arc AD and right side from this big arc, if you subtract D to B, then remaining will be arc BC equal to arc CB. So both arc are equal. This only we have to prove. So this exercise has completed. Hope you understood all these questions. Practice yourself also. Thank you for watching this video.